Welcome to Question Time. On tonight's panel... ...trade agreement that allows two sovereign... ...then a unit... Uh, 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 the, uh, that if we, we don't manage to strike a deal, and as I'm I said... concentrating on the current negotiation. ...with a deal has consequences because it will affect our trade. You can't tell me what to do and I'll pay the price. I consider myself someone who's followed the twists and turns of this quite closely. ...about in terms of manufacturing and just-in-time supply chains and disruption to jobs. ...get ready for an Australia-style deal. The chances of, of a trade deal are not looking particularly good at the moment. And Malcolm Turnbull, as you heard, is, is lukewarm at best. Should we be feeling, if you've got the Prime Minister saying, let's go for an Australia-style deal, that will be fine, and we've got the ex-Prime Minister of Australia saying, actually, it's not great. We just want to change the terms of trade. Yes, oh, terms. He is. Spell that out. The government is saying, come on, for it all eventualities, whereas it's wrong to say border technology, we have been preparing for this. There have been Hang many on. of them. I just want to let Malcolm Turnbull in, because he can't jump in, in quite, quite as easy yes, as you good. can, and he's had his hand up. Yes. Malcolm. So we're looking for 50 people from across the whole of the UK, and each week we will take our audience from that pre-selected group of 50. They're about infections rising, particularly in, in areas of the South East. So should people be taking more personal... They're still suffering long Covid symptoms, and let's not forget... Practice, what would oh, that, that look like? Practice. That would work actually doing very, very sensible things. They're doing it on the same day. We have seen it absolutely protecting the vulnerable, those who are over 70. The English lockdown was announced on the 30th of October. Cases rose by 29%, yeah. hospitalizations rose by 50%. Anna, let's right, let you finish um, your point. Let's... Do you give the, the government <laughs> well, about... She thinks it's, it's ridiculous that people are being allowed to get together at Christmas. I think within that, a lot of people, a lot of families... ...take to me. Uh, I also... Th but it was wrong to boo what's going on on the telly and they wouldn't say anything. Te uh, on television of, of what happened in Millwall, he said he couldn't, he couldn't hear it terribly well, but he did say that if players want to take the knee, that should be respected. Footballers at Millwall... Um, and Colchester, who were booed for taking the knee yep. in support of Black Lives Matter, was enough done by, by politicians and football teams. ...from the politics, from the difficulty of daily life. Regardless of the, the Marxists, who those same um, uh, footballers showing the same water tackle um, uh, racism in, in sport. ...the eyes of the world opened up such conversation. Indirect discrimination, whether through in education, employment, criminal justice, and let's also so remember... Can I just and say, just, no, just in fairness, I have to say, that whether you agree with it or not, that the Millwall Supporters Club, there's no doing a reaction to the taking down of war memorials and the defacing of Winston Churchill statues. What the right response, what was... Oh, you know, oh, let's have this kind of, sort of point. Well, what are people supposed to do if they see or, or hear racism? Incredibly powerful and influential role models. And to all of you at home, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.